I'm very interested in how animals move around, how they use their legs to walk and run, and how can we learn from those animals and teach the robot to do the same thing. There are many different kind of robots. There are robots with wheels, there are swimming type of robots, there are flying type of robots. Here at Syracuse University, my research area lies in legged robots. This gives us a lot of advantage to negotiate with the terrain. For example, if you do the exploration of outer space, you shouldn't expect there are well-paved roads on those planets. But with legs, you can jump over gaps, you can jump over obstacles. This gives you a lot of like mobility <laughs> in those kind of unstructured environments. Those technologies and knowledge can be applied for rehabilitation devices as well. We can design exoskeletons that can help stroke patients to move around and regain their control of the muscle. We can also build this kind of robotic devices to augment endurance. Students here at Syracuse University, they are actually independent thinkers. If I give them a good directions and give them enough time, they can always come up with their own ways and ideas to solve problems. And uh, sometimes that's kind of how we come up with new research ideas and new approaches. Look at him go! I love it. I'm always thinking about a newborn baby. When they try to stand up or make their first move, it's always challenging. It actually takes them probably a year to learn from all the failures and fallings and eventually make their first step. I always try to say the same thing for my students. When we teach a robot to do that, it takes a lot of effort. We have to learn from our mistakes and then eventually you can make it.